Hello everybody. We're doing a rocket day because it's 41 degrees in January. It's a little cloudy and we really don't have that many rockets. But the good news is, is they're all pretty big. So I think we have six or eight and um, I've done some new things to them. We have a new tapered coupler system, a solid mount engine tube, and we've gone back to the piston to help help with deployment and we'll have a mix of streamers and parachutes so let's see what happens um today here in january 3rd i think it is one of those it's the days. second isn't it i think it is here on january yes. 2nd at the windsor fairground parking lot all right here we go this rocket is titled the windsock it has a c motor and is expected to go about 200 miles per hour and reach a thousand feet in the air it's also a rear deployment, and I'm pretty sure this survived from last launch. It did survive. It's the second launch of a rocket. Very rare indeed. Very, yes. All right, here we go. All right, this is a windsock, so we're using this to see how we need to address the launch pad for the bigger rockets. All right, let's do the countdown. Three, Casper. Three, two, one. Do you see it? I do. It looks ballistic. Yeah, the night turned down right in the way. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Coming. Wow. Oh, I see it. Ballistic. I lost the whole thing. Oh, wow. Are these clouds too low? No. No, it did not go into the clouds. I just missed them. All right. That one went ballistic, which, which means if it went ballistic, probably we're never going to launch that one again. This rocket is K4-4. It has some sort of C engine. C12. C12, and it weighs 132 grams, and it's 567 millimeters tall. That's all we know about it. And that. And it's the second time this rocket will be launched. Oh, here we go. Usually that's the last one time, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> right, Casper built rocket, second launch. Three, two, one. Really nice. Oh, good deployment. You might have lost the nose cone on it this time. Oh no, I think that is a nose cone, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, maybe. It's that close by. Like oh, you got it back again. So, as you can see, this rocket has mostly survived. It only lost one fin, which broke right on the uh, housing, so it can just be glued right back on. And uh, actually, I forgot to even put a streamer on since last time, which is just shocking. <laughs> I guess this rocket just can't be killed. It survives for a third launch. Amazing. Oh, very rare. Purple. Yeah. This rocket is called Gemini. It has a D-16-6 and should shoot about 750 feet into the air. And it, is this grams? Grams, yeah. It weighs 144 grams and should reach 176 miles per hour. And what's this? That's 500 millimeters long. What's this? For? Oh, L. Yeah. And it's 500 millimeters long, so half a meter. Half a meter. And that's all we know about it. All right, let's see what happens. Go. Three, two. One. Nope, it's good. And we've got good deployment and we've got the streamer. It's right over my head at the minute. Well, Not the it's close. Let's go take a look. All right, now Gemini has survived to be launched again. The only little bit of damage is here on the piston, and I can print those out, no problem. All right, so Gemini will live to fight another day. 
This rocket is called Ares. It has a D-12-5 and it is projected to go about 800 feet. It weighs 187 point something grams um, and it, what's this number? It's 161 miles an hour. 161 miles per hour and 688 millimeters tall. All right, let's see how it goes. No. Three, two, one. Very straight. Wow, really straight. Oh, oh deployment. It's coming right down on us. Really? Is that a streamer? Yeah, it is. Really slow coming down. Yeah, very, uh, very slow. And there's not much tension in that spring. Wow! Well, that one came down. Pretty slow. good! Yeah. Clearly, we have another survivor. The only slight problem we had is the engine blew itself out. But other than that, every single fin is on and, uh, the piston is even perfectly intact. Wow, so that is four rockets up and three recovered and three relaunchable. Exactly. This is unbelievable. This is unprecedented. <laughs> Here we have Buna, which has a D-12-7. It's supposed to travel about 700 feet in the air and weighing 203 grams, and it is supposed to reach 145 miles per hour, and its height is 830 millimeters tall. All right, let's see how she works. All right, this is the fifth rocket of the day. Let's see how she goes. Go for it, Casper. Three, two, one. Really nice and straight. Oh, deployment. It's very windy up there. It is windy up there. This one is kind of chaotic. Like it's missing its deployment. Yeah. Oof. Well, we that, got it back. That actually looked like the best way it could have fallen. Yeah. What we have here is our parachute did not unfurl, and uh, that caused the rocket to fall too fast and break a fan. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool. But the mid deployment was successful, which it hasn't been previously, so. Right. If, if that parachute had have worked, we might have had an intact rocket. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Gap. This rocket is called Taurus. It has a D-22-7 and should, and it weighs 262 grams at 1.3 meters tall. It should travel 600 feet in the air at 142 miles per hour. All right, this one has all the things. It has the piston, deployment, the tapered couplers, mm. um, and let's just see how she goes. Those fins are very tiny, very tiny. so let's hope that there is enough stability there. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Super stable, oh. and it deployed. And it didn't break up in the air, which I thought was going to happen. Uh-oh, that's going to crash heavy. Bam! That was a little bit not enough recovery. Needed, I think it needed a parachute. Needed a parachute. Let's go. So, uh, the rocket obviously hit the ground too hard, so we have a lot of splintering in the lower section where it landed, and missing two, and this thing is off Yeah, off. fins got crunched. But, um, this whole section of body is in perfect condition, so you could really just chop it up nice yeah. and uh, make another rocket. There we so, go. That's fine too. And the piston worked and yep. fantastic. Too heavy or not enough streamer or something. Yeah, we, it came down a little too fast. I think also we have a little, a little something <laughs> happened there. Something happened, yeah. Yeah, all right. 
This rocket is called Mirac. It's our first E of the day with an E-12-6 and weighing 291 grams. Along with that, it is 1.15 meters tall and it should reach 800 feet into the air. All right, first E-rocket of the day. Three, two, one. That was rock solid. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it deployed. Not sure what's. Oh, oh separation. Down. We'll follow the body down and then go back for the rest of it. There is the body, which is going very slowly. We might catch some. Um, the parachute is still in the air. Body will There's the body. The right there. Where? Right up there. Up. No, 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 that would fall in my hand. Oh, there it is. And I think we're going to lose the nose cone and the parachute into the pit. Yeah. Not enough weight, so it was taken by the way. Yeah, that is... Oh, no, that's the front of the trees. Yeah, we might be able to get that little piece back. All right, let's go. All right, so now here we have the body of Mirac. Um, it is in perfect condition yeah and uh the only thing we're missing is the string piston parachute nose cone assembly which is way over there probably in the pit somewhere right uh but this is hopefully we'll fly again hopefully let's see yeah this rocket is titled nimbus it has a e12-6 weighing 287 grams and 870 millimeters tall. It should reach 750 feet in the air at 145 miles per hour. Cool, let's see. Yeah. Go. Three, two, one. Very good. Nice travel. Oh, deployment. It's going fairly slow. It doesn't look like the parachute deployed. So I think it's going to be in a bit of a few pieces. Well, oh, maybe with that gust of might. Oh, hard hit. Like so we had some meltage in here. Yeah, that's what caused that to be a problem. Yeah. All right. Let's do this one. But we got most of it back, mm -hmm. and the chute did not deploy. It got tangled again. I gotta figure that out. I think that mylar is just not very good stuff. Maybe not. All right. Well, this one is recovered, but. Not going to be deployable, though the nose cone will. Nose cone is fine, and I mean, if you really had to reuse this part, you could. You could, yeah. Okay, this is the last rocket of the day. It is a Krug, and it is an E-15-4. It'll go 900 feet, 184 miles an hour. The E-15 is our most powerful engine today, and it weighs 329 grams altogether. Um, oh, and it's about a meter long. Let's see how the biggest, most powerful rocket of the day treats us today. Oh, wait, airplane. Yeah, I can't, I can't. So we're just going to let that airplane get a little bit further away since it is within our striking distance. That looks about, about 1,500, 2,000 feet. This is an Aerotech mid-power E15. Ready, Casper? Yes. Go for it. Three, two, one. What the heck?
Oh, oh. Well, it deployed. It deployed so high up you didn't even hear it. Um, it was only a four second delay, right? Yeah. And I think it's working. Yeah. Sadly, I think it's going to go to the pit. The air takes you as you break the whole rocket into pieces. That is a parachute. Yeah. Oh, are we good? I think that's... It looks like our greatest success will be lost time. To the pit. Jesus. There it goes. Oh, man! Beyond the all right. So that Aerotech rocket deployed perfectly and it's shoot worked and everything, but it worked so well it's in the pit. I think that was the first time we've had one not explode midair. Right, usually those Aerotechs blow the whole thing up. So obviously the new solid engine mount is holding things together a little bit better. I've got some other ideas to keep the engine from melting the rocket that we'll try on the next launch. So this has been the January New Year's launch. Yeah, the New Year's launch. It's been the Apex. No, I've done Apex before. <laughs> I've done Apogee before. It's New Apple Year's. Apple. No, what is it? Apoapsis. No, Apoapsis is too crazy. <laughs> right? It's a powerfully. No. What could it be? It's uh, a. Um, <laughs> yeah, a shockingly successful um, rocket launch here at the Windsor Fairground. We'll be back probably in February or the next warm day with some number of rockets, with some number of changes. So thanks for watching.